Hi guys, so today we're at G Motorbodies. Um, brought the car here because I've heard nothing but good things. And uh, as you can see, all the glass is out of the car. Uh, all the little dints and dings that it had in it have been filled. Um, we've got the rear spoiler on and we're getting ready for priming time. So um, shortly we're going to have a chat with uh, the owner Matt and we're going to discuss what colour to uh, paint the car. So there's a few little bits that um, Matt's going to do while it's here. Um, obviously we've put the 370Z indicators on and that leaves a hole behind so if you're going to do that mod then that's going to need filling. We've took the rear wiper off and we're going to have that welded up so it's nice and smooth. One little tip that I will give you is when you are looking to do a project like this, make sure you do plenty of research. Um, you can pay a lot of money for, for a paint job and if you're not getting the right people to do the work, then you're going to be disappointed. Um, so we, uh, we, we did our research. Um, we know Matt through um, mutual friends and uh, we've seen his work in hand first hand. We know that he can overcome problems. You know, this is a, a car that's been kind of built up from the ground upwards and it's got lots of additional parts, lots of holes, and the car was practically ready for the scrap heap. So it needed a lot of work doing to it. So when you're doing your research, talk to people that have had the work done there before, have a look at their cars, it's what I did, and go and have a word with them before, you know, putting your money out. Uh, these guys, GE Motor Bodies, they know what they're doing, so uh, we're really excited to see what they come up with and uh, looking forward to seeing the finished product. So when I was looking for the colour to, to go with the car, um, I found the one I wanted, but it was only available in, in a wrap. So uh, I showed uh, Matt a few pictures. and yeah, just being difficult again. Yes. But <laughs> um, we did go through a few colours that are out there. Uh, a few modern ones, a few old ones, but we've gone through to a manufacturer colour and it's a very understated colour. Uh, I feel it will be in keeping with the car and its age. Um, it will also be a, a slight modern touch to it. It would be nice and it's different and I don't think I've ever seen a another 350Z with this colour on it. So as long as I mean, you've seen the colour, you know what you're looking at, yep. so you're happy with it, and happy. I feel it's got a nice touch to it as well. Yeah.
car's back, really happy with it. Paintwork's beautiful, colour's beautiful. Shame that the sun's just popped in, but there's a lot of gold fleck in it. Really does come alive. Um, we spent a bit of time putting bits back on. We've sorted out the issue with the rear not sitting too low, so we've changed the rear shocks. We've added a couple of bits and pieces. We've got a couple of little things we want to finish off. We've still got the rear lights to do on it in the bumper. Um, I fitted the front running lights. Uh, we've done some NRG bucket seats as well. So I've just got the boot in store to do. I need to carpet that out and finish that off. And then we're going to do the stereo. We're going to change that for a sat-nav screen, etc. So then it should be all finished. <laughs>